Honestly, this is perfect fodder for Sorcana, right? This is exactly the perfect. And man, I want to draw the cards so much, but we cannot. We need to kill the Seraph because it will lifelink and it will mess our rice basically because we need to raise him. Hello everyone, it's Love here and today we are back with some Grixis con Midrangey Control. With Sorcanar that ain't the absolute master of a card that 5 toughness really proves to be so resilient in current meta that you get so much value. This will be a lot of highlights from the, from the deck with this card. This is definitely a powerhouse. And before we go into the, the rest of the deck, I really wanted to say sorry for delayed upload, but guys, it's not me slacking off. I actually spent my full day basically trying to enter the arena client. It stopped working for me. I know I'm not the only one and I just tried every half an hour or hour try to enter the game to finish my recording for the day and it just waited for server forever it was so frustrating because like yeah i i i had to change all my plans basically just to record this video so so late so sorry for that then you know what all of this on top of the YouTube bug that happened yesterday and I was actually, the longer the video was up, the more views I've been losing. So after a few, few hours, I lost like 300 views somehow. So yeah, definitely a rough day for me. Hopefully uh, it won't be hard in the commentary. I really tried my best to be positive. I hope I made it work, but super rough day for me. And with that great announcement, let's go into the, the deck intro. But I want to say really thank you for anyone who, you know, put the like, put the comment. It really helped me know that it's not the video that was wrong. It was some YouTube bug because if I didn't see all those likes, I, I would fit second second guess myself basically if I mess something with the video so really thank you for it it made a huge difference and it really gave me confidence when I needed it because that was super rough day basically so with that being said sorry for the long part of the non-magic intro I hope you don't mind it but I just wanted to share with you guys some hardships outside of magic so uh, Grixis Dominator this deck definitely has a lot of power value sure that's Kotose hostile takeover card I really wanted to try on top of this we have some counter spells because I know you guys enjoy them we have Ertai we have some Cardo and Siphon Inside the fans favorite and it definitely showed a lot of potential today I, I'll be playing more with this card i really like it and if you don't hit mono red and you hit another deck it actually is relevant so with that is the deck i hope you will enjoy it don't forget to subscribe and like because it sometimes really helps <laughs> and uh, thank you for all the support guys and let's go into the games all right we're going first with actual good hand that's kind of insane so <laughs> let's start and with dissipate we should feel a little bit safer yet but it will sure happen right so let's go with the triumph even though we don't have flame best board we don't have a two mana play so whatever we might as well do this and just have it done so yeah dissipate double blue will definitely be bro <laughs> play a card it's not so hard all right <laughs> it's fine it just always gets me when they think so long, but I guess they have uh, the top plan, so they actually needed to plan ahead a few turns, so that's absolutely fine. Absolutely fine. And probably the sloth is not the the animal that, you know, I, I lost my train of thought. You, you get, sloth is known for thinking along, so I'm also thinking long time about most of my moves, so that's kind of fine. I mean, let's counter it. What choice do we have? We cannot kill it with flame best board, we don't have guaranteed next turn play, but if something happens, we definitely want uh, to follow up with our shoulder or something. Not just build into Soul Canal. Like, those can be super aggressive. Easy removal, five cards. All right, let's see the follow up. I mean, we will play like this just to hit the land drop. Like this is, guys, this is what we have to do to hit our land drops. So I need Grixis mana, that's fine. Probably the red then. And do I, yeah, let's go for Ertai. Even though it's not the highest value, uh, even though this could be a land, I feel that we are a bit better with this one. 
We just need some different options. We might be playing against white in Vogue deck, but I have no idea. It doesn't... either they are unlucky on the mana base, or they are not in Vogue Despair deck. Alright, that really shows that we have something. Honestly, this is perfect fodder for Sorcana, right? This is exactly the perfect thingy. Alright, so let's go into the end step. And... Man, I want to draw the cards so much, but we cannot. We need to kill the Seraph, because it will lifelink, and it will mess our rice, basically. Because we need to raise him. We can burn down the house our own Solkanar, but he will probably do something about it. Okay, that's a Giada. That's a perfect target for our small blessed board, and we are into combat phase. Well... I know, genius. So I wanted to deny him the mana, but of course it has summoning sickness anyway, so whatever. Alright, that's a Giada down and 5 damage to her face. And you know what, guys? We are no wimp. We are going hard with the damage. And one of the cool things about Burn Down the House, man, it's so often very, very good as a, you know, just creature thingy. Even if he sweeps, it's so much damage. My point is that I want pressure enough that Sol Kanar won't go to his side because, you know, it will either die or whatever. Do we play Takenuma with Memory Deluge? I think that's justified. And we definitely draw a card. Oh, yes, give me the card. I really want a different card. And that was one of the reasons we didn't take the runs with Memory Deluge because then you are getting through. Yeah, Sol Kanar doing some good work here. Alright, so. We will hit him for super hard with another burn down the house. The other play would be just to stall with uh, the Artai, but I really think we need to make sure that we go hard. Yeah, let's go with three devils. He's tapped out, so he's not in great spot. So I should do the attack or more time efficient, you know? But that's the problem. He dies next turn basically, because then when he kills the, the thing, he cannot go to 6 mana and with the farewell, so even if he sweeps, he's at 2, which means Shrouded and Solkanar are basically lethals, unless he has exactly this card. <laughs> Alright, so we will make sure to negate at least part of his lifelink. Uh, we definitely have to play like this, I think, right? Man, so awkward. So, yeah. Let's go like this. We need to make sure that the lifelink is not a thing. He might farewell. And we need to take this risk. Because this is our Leafar on board. And you know what? We should cycle. Because we might hit make disappear. I mean, this is pretty okay. Let's see if farewell. Man, they always have it, right? Alright, this this is not a farewell, so that's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. Alright, alright, I actually do not mind it, so if he, he definitely blocks, he gets higher on the life. But we still, man, those devils are doing so much work. We could also try to fish for some kind of removal, that was the other option. But I just like free value with my Sol Kanar. What can I say? And we save face. Now we play. He's tapped out, so that's a really convenient moment to play this. And I mean, I should have... Like, if I'm doing it anyway, right? No, no. We wait until they reload. There is a limit to how many Archangels he can draw. And it's still 4 damage uh, from the Devils, right? So... The Appraiser after the Sweeper will still be deadly. Alright, Super Orange Doom. <laughs> How many more Archangels do you have? But you can feel that this card is just single-handedly keeping him in the game. A Bright? Oh, oh, that, I think that's the end. If you see double a Bright on your 5-drop that already got the value, uh, you know it will be harsh. So, Smork, man, the Devils. The actual devils, Qatar Commander, sure. Look at how bad plays he's forced to do just to stay alive. And he will still die, right? He already is in the Leafar range. 
Uh, if he kills the devils, that's exactly... Well, that's even more than three, because he kills this one as well. But let's make sure it's as awkward as possible. Like, we alternated between being aggressive. Oh, that's a really nice draw. That's actually insanely good draw. So we will play Corrupt Surpriser, because now we can protect the board. No Archangels here. <laughs> I mean, that's, uh, that's a game. Uh, a hard counter spell is definitely the last piece we needed, but even without the counter spells, we would just kill him. Man, the burn down the house devils are so insanely powerful. Alright, we are going first. With pretty good curve, so we'll take it. Oh wow, I think we are having someone that actually plays magic. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was waiting for a long time just for someone to take the mulligan. Alright, so let's go with the Shivan Reef, of course, let's go with the Harvester and follow up with the Appraiser for some early game pressure. The, and the Blood Token will definitely help as well. Alright, so let's see. What is the play? Oh, that's a very good draw. That's actually a really good draw. So we definitely do not play this one. I think we might play another one. This will be the last one we play, then we stay up with Make Disappears. Yeah, I want some more pressure, because if he doesn't have instant removal... Okay, he might have the exactly perfect card that trades with this. This was the only ever possibility that he's ahead, because from now on we would ca uh, play counter spells. But on the bright side, even in this situation, he's tapped out, so we get the value anyway. So. You know, even in the best possible choice, we are still kind of happy. Alright, sure, that is probably okay. We might cycle this at the end step, very likely. I don't think that's a good card for the matchup. Not sure exactly what he plays. Alright, that's a bang buster and make disappear probably. Or maybe just drawing cards, you know? So let's make sure that we discard something and get something better. Yeah, we probably try to, to force stuff. Alright. So first we attack. For extra damage. It went through very quickly. I think we're just trying to play on curve and just... Of course. <laughs> His answers are absolutely perfect notch. Alright. Is this some kind of the fairy? Sternus. Alright, alright. I kinda like the card. Like I think there's potential there. You know, and and uh, step ramp with with some cards. Oh, pretty nice, pretty nice. Alright. How many counter spells he he might have? Fable is not the worst. I really want to kill him, honestly, but it will be hard. I still think we play something. Pro just not sure if that's Kotose or Sorkana. Uh, there is a chance he doesn't have another counter spell and he just wanted to draw the card. Alright, so it enters and this is pretty hard to kill. Especially for the red deck. 5 toughness is much more than 4 toughness. So let's see if he has the perfect answer for this as well. So far he doesn't. Alright, so we definitely draw a card. And that's a glorious card. Alright. So we have a creature in the graveyard, so we will get an effect. Demolition field. Alright, cool. So... Stern lesson, so he's ramping into some huge artifact, probably Porter of uh, to Fire Axe, right? So next turn onwards, we are just making disappear. He can take one of the hits, but the problem is that he won't have, uh, he won't be able to take more. Also, we can go for Corpse Appraiser, or just go full control and make disappear into mana to pay for make disappear, but probably the Corpse Appraiser, right? Oh, never mind. That's a new great card. Yeah, so right now we just attack and we kill him in two turns, right? So we need to make sure that he cannot do anything. Oh, that's a juicy hit. That's actually such a juicy hit. So now we 
deal two damage to his face. Because why not? It makes things a bit easier. And now he's forced to do something. Like portal to Phyrexia, I think, right? Alright. You got one. What about the next one, my friend? Like, we are allowing it because we have a lot of creatures. And he has only two... Alright, alright, alright. I think that's fine. I think that's fine. That's why we played Sorkanar, because it's so hard to deal with. Uh, he doesn't have direct removal, unfortunately. But we have Siphon inside, so we will steal some cool cards from his deck. And he cannot counter it. Or, right, I guess he can take any mana, because he can use Power Stones to power those and basically use it as a mana. Uh, Bankbuster seems pretty sweet. And let's target again. I just want direct direct damage spell, like, you know, invoke the spell would be nice. Uh, I know he doesn't play black. It, it is a factor. <laughs> it's fine. He still has it, probably. Alright, so what do we do? What do we do? There are no cards that we really want to get rid of. A Bright is not good enough. I, I actually think that Fable might be the nice target. Uh, I should play the different one, but whatever. Let's play this one. You know, this is lethal, but the problem is that we need to overwhelm him quickly. Uh, because he will start doing with the bank busters. I mean, this is a lethal on the, on the next turn, right? Oh, I thought for some reason I'm scrying. I'm such a dummy. I'm actually a dummy. I always think, oh, I hit very nice creatures from the graveyard. Nah. <laughs> nah, you didn't. Alright, so if we skip the counter spell... Like, Portal to Fire Exa doesn't kill it. The, the city scape level actually hits this. But then it's what? 8 mana, so he might have 2 mana. That's a tricky situation. I really would love to have a counter spell. But with Bangbuster, we can kill him next turn, probably. Probably. I think it's okay. We might get something like a braid, a dance step, whatever, but I'm just trying to pile the threats one after another, so this way it's a bit harder for him to do what whatever he wanted to do. I hope he doesn't really have a plan and just trying to draw cards into something relevant. And then he kills the Upriser, possibly with Porter of Phyrexia, then we play Kotose. Alright, so this is the play. But the problem is he needs to kill one of the creature one of the things, right? That's a bangbuster. Sure. We get the power stone. Yay us. And I mean Alright, he will have a bangbuster to block. That's that's a big deal. That's a big deal. Do I want flame blast board? I guess it kills the token, right? Do I get rid of memory the rouge? I don't think we'll have too much time. We might cast it at 7. So I, I need some instant value. Oh, this is a nice instant value, I think. Alright. So tricky, so tricky. So we can abrade, simply. We can just abrade and get rid of this. And then we hit for Rifa, right? Will we have enough mana? No, we are lacking one mana, right? Because we he will he will use the bangbuster thingy. Alright, so this is the play. This is the play. It would be great to use this power stone token somehow, but we won't be able to, I think. Alright, that's an abrade. He might use the unearth ability, but it doesn't really kill us, right? The hand. Skitter! Oh, 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 that's so much damage. Do we die? So we kill the... No, if he plays one, he cannot play the second one. Alright, alright. I think that's fine. Library. Like, yeah, it's, it's a good removal overall, so I guess let's remove it. Not the best play, probably, but it's, it's good enough. So if we attack, he just cruise, and we don't really get much benefit. By the way, that's a negate. <laughs> I 
I just realized he casually just stopped the negate to counter our main play. Oh my god. Oh, it's always like this. This one, one little card. So, how do we play against it? He cannot activate the Bang Buster. Like, if we do anything, we might do it as well later. Yes, just please, please activate it. Just do the thing. Do the thing. Oh no, he knows the thing. <laughs> he knows the thing. Uh, we might still play it. We can, whatever he does, we can just answer with a bright, so you know, it makes things a bit more awkward for him. But the fact, like, we were already supposed to be forcing for lethal, if not this little counter spell. Oh, that's so mean. Hopefully he will tap out to create some pressure. Alright. So he can pay 2 mana. Alright, if we cast a bright now... Okay, okay, I think this is the play. Alright, this is the play. So we go for casualty. Like, I feel that there is a lethal in this game somewhere. Like, he tapped a lot of mana. I mean, a lot of mana. So, he won't be able to get this one. Alright. I mean, I definitely did not forget that he targeted Kotose and I should sacrifice her in response. That definitely did not happen. Man, I'm. this has been a rough day for me. Okay, so comments, be merciful. Be merciful because... Oh man, we are so close to, to winning this one. And losing as well. So, I can play Sukenzan. Then he will create a token. Then we kill the token. Then fires of victor is not enough. Like I don't think how how can we kill him? So he crossed the bangbuster in response, and he won't mess it up. So we deal one damage. Are we at one to zero? It feels like this, right? Maybe we can we'll make it work with Fires of Victory somehow? I don't know. So we have to do the thing. Oh man, what a game! I think that's it's slipping away. I think it's... Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! He did not realize? What the hell happened there? All he needed to do... Like one mana, two mana, activate the bang buster, you get alright, but this would be he didn't know about the removal. I missed it because if he wants to activate it, he will have bang buster tapped, so he cannot crew it. And we just killed it in response. But he didn't know about the removal. What the hell man? <laughs> but we would win this. I, I literally missed the lethal and he yeah, he missed it even more, I guess. Alright, we are starting. Our opponent was tanking like crazy. So actually I we will start the video right here. Do not waste your time. And we are in against mono blue. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Why was I even waiting? So I mean let's force him to not be able to counter it because I want some juicy counter spells for myself. And that's all there is. Like, mono black player is just literally <laughs> leaving the game moment you play a card. Like, it happened twice. You remember yesterday's video? We played one card, they also scooped. What the hell is going on? Alright, opponent goes first, and we have a very nice mulligan on our hand. We have another mulligan. That's what we have to do to hit a car, uh, like basically a hand that makes a difference. So, do we go really like this? Nah, I think we go. Man, siphon inside. Oh my. Th this is one of the, like, you know, examples of Shuffler deciding the game. I already feel that we lost. All of those cards were absolutely amazing. We want all of them, but we cannot. So, do we really go like this? We probably go like this. We also have wrong mana. We actually have wrong mana for everything. So, probably will be a loss. Like, we will, we will try to make it work, because if we draw correctly, we might have a game. And we are against Azorius Soldiers. Alright. 
So, we need blue or red. So let's go with Shivan Reef to maximize our chance that we can cast at least one of those cards. You know, how bad Shuffler can treat us. And the answer is as bad as you possibly deserve and even more. I mean, Flameless Board is actually a very good draw here. Very nice answer to Talia. And then we can start drawing cards with Kaito because we really need it. Somehow we are actually ahead on cards. I don't understand the, the, the situation, but it's here. So he will put the counter. We kill the Talia. You know, the good stuff. And the fact that we actually are playing this game, even after such insanely bad draw, oh, we do not have the right mana. Oh my god, Shuffler! Two mulligans, down to five, and we still cannot play Magic. By the way, area hearts were way worse, and we would actually have even less room to breathe. Alright, thank you. My cards from the deck, amazing, crazy, I know. It is a bit light, not gonna lie. This is a very light, very light situation. We do not have great blocks, so we might as well go with Kaita. And just force a little bit of presence and cargo. Let's see how mar how crazy he can ramp it. It's Brutal Qatar or Lord or Siege Veteran. Each one of those cards is super deadly when you are so ahead. This is probably the least threatening thing. Like, this is something we actually can kill if we draw correctly. And we do not block, we take the damage. Like we took a mulligan and then we took the mulligan and then we took a mana screw, you know, the regular day of magic. It's fine. I do not mind it, I love it. The more mana screws and mulligans I take, the better my day becomes. Hashtag true. <laughs> or truth. Uh, right, so he cast a soldier and we die, right? This is the gameplay. If, yeah. Nothing without the flying matters, probably. So, what is the soldier I'm trying to hit? Harbin? I might hit the Harbin. It's not great. Or we might just play the Harvester, Cycle, and hope for a removal. Honestly, I think it's a better choice. It also creates a, a, a creature, you know? Alright, let's get a land. Or you know what, we won't be able to play double Siphon Insight anyway, so yeah, that's that's a nice land. In my deck full of removal and sweepers, that's a very good land. So let's see, let's see, like he needs one more turn for the soldier, right? They generally do not have haste except the frontliner, alright, so I guess next turn but of course we lose Kaito which is not great so we need burn down the house from the top hostile takeover or basically any of those stuff how much damage is it oh we just die right of course that was great mtg content <laughs> mulligan into mulligan into mana screw into being against top tier aggro deck but definitely day of magic